The DT-30 Vitiaz is a lightly armored, tracked, multi-purpose battlefield vehicle originating from the Soviet Cold War era and continues to provide service with the Russian army today. Design work on the vehicle began in 1971 which led to serial production models coming off the Ishimbai transport, machine building plant assembly lines by 1982. The near 60-ton design offers excellent off-road mobility and undertakes heavy cargo carrier roles for the service. The vehicle was born out of a Soviet need in the 1960s for increased mobility, particularly as a war against the West in Europe was all but inevitable, requiring the mammoth Soviet army to cut across the European landscape in short order. What was needed was a heavy hauler to carry across these landscapes heavier loads than what was currently being offered by in-service, systems of same function. The result was the oversized Vitiaz with its wide beam, low ground pressure, an articulated rear section to relatively easily move cargo from point A to point B. State trials involving the prototype vehicles DTLP and DTL then followed, resulting in the DT-30 articulated vehicle being approved for widespread production and service. What the Soviet Army received was a product capable of operating in extreme weather conditions and on soft terrain, making it ideal for operations in the Arctic, Antarctica, and the unforgiving Northern Territories of the vast Soviet expanse. Even the oil and gas industry went on to benefit from this rugged, go-anywhere, vehicle. Structurally, dimensions include a running length of 45 feet, a width of 9.2 feet, and a height of 8.10 feet. All welded construction makes up the hull. Inside there is a standard operating crew of two and the engine sits behind the crew compartment, the power plant being a 12-cylinder engine coupled to a manual transmission system. Externally, each track side features six road wheels and the drive sprocket sits at front with the track idler at rear. The rear hull component also mimics this track and wheel arrangement for consistency. Access to the cabin is through hinged, automobile-style doors and the short hull nose offers an elevated, commanding view of the terrain ahead, viewed through three rectangular window panes each having their own windshield wiper. Headlamps are positioned over the cabin and at the front of the hull for low-light, nighttime driving. Ground clearance is excellent making the vehicle ideal for cross-country, uneven terrain travel and even amphibious crossings. The forward unit can operate even if the rear component has failed. The DT-10P variant weighs in at 31 tons while the DT-30 is a hefty 58 tons. No defensive armament as the DT-30 is essentially a logistics support vehicle, though personal weapons can be carried by the crew. The distinct design of the hull also provides some, light, protection against hidden mines and IEDs. Slovakia is the only other known operator of the DT-30 series and this is strictly through their fire and rescue corps.